Hello and welcome to this A-level chemistry video where I'm hoping to help you to prepare for A-level chemistry paper one for the AQA course. Specifically, I'm going to be helping you to prioritise the topics that I think you should revise. I've done an in-depth analysis of every A-level chemistry paper there's been and I'm going to use this insight to help you to answer the following questions. Since there are 15 topics that can be assessed on paper one, it will be really useful to know which topics come up the most often. And then also, which topics are worth the most marks on average across the papers? Is there a topic that comes up more consistently than others? And from within these larger topics, are there some parts of topics that come up more often than others? Before having an in-depth look at the number of marks available for each topic, it's really important to put that into context. You will obviously have a goal in mind in terms of the grade that you're aiming for, and so what I'm displaying here are the grade boundaries that you needed to achieve in order to get that grade as time went on. So the first paper for the current syllabus was in 2017, and then we've moved through to 2023, that was the last year, and the grade boundaries are on display underneath. I think it's worth noting on the right-hand side that I've taken an average of all of those seven papers that there have been, and for instance, to get an A star, on average, it required 85 marks out of 105 available on paper one, and 70 out of 105 to get an A, etc. on average. One really useful way of prioritising your revision is to look at the topics that come up the most often. There have been seven paper ones for the current course, and there are in fact a number of topics that have come up on every single paper. And these are the eight topics that are shown inside this red box here. They haven't all had the same weighting in terms of the number of marks available for this topic, but they have come up every single time. Every year on an exam paper, some topics are worth far more marks than others, and I've ranked the number of times topics appear in the big three questions on a paper. And so this table here looks at how many times a topic has been in the top three most highly ranked questions in terms of the number of marks available. And here's where the pattern really starts to develop, because you can see that there are two topics, acids and bases and transition metals, that have been in the top three most important questions six times out of the seven. And there are in fact only three other topics that have ever been in the top three most marks available questions. And those are thermodynamics, atomic structure and amount of substance. So this is already looking like these five topics are the highest priority for revision. If we look at the total number of marks that there have been for each topic across the whole seven years of the course, you can see that there are two topics that are out ahead in terms of the most marks have been awarded for them. And those are acids and bases and transition metals. And they have each had around about 14% of the average number of marks available on a typical paper one. And the rest of the top five is made up of those same topics that we had on the previous table, thermodynamics, atomic structure, and amount of substance. If we focus back on those grade boundaries for a moment, the average score on paper one out of 105 that you needed to get an A star was 85. If we look at these topics here, their average total comes to 86. So in a sense, if you really prioritise the revision of these eight topics, that actually would have been enough to get you an A star on average across the, all the paper ones without picking up any marks on the other topics at all. Of course, this is based on averages and that's no, there's no guarantee that that's how paper one will work for 2024. This graph shows us how many marks have been awarded for each topic on AQA A-Level Chemistry Paper 1. And on the left-hand side, we've got the highest value two topics, transition metals and acids and bases, followed by the rest of the top five, thermodynamics, atomic structure 
and amount of substance. You can see that over the seven exams that there have been for paper one, transition metals and acids and bases have been assessed pretty consistently across all seven papers. We start with the dark green, that was 2017, and the blue was 2018, etc., working our way up to this dark green at the top, which was 2023. Whilst it hasn't been worth so many marks on average across the seven papers, it's worth pointing out that something like KP has also been assessed pretty consistently across each of the papers, worth around about seven marks per paper. And here we can see again those eight topics that would on average have netted us 86 marks out of 105, and we'd have achieved an A star grade overall based only on those eight topics. One thing that's worth mentioning outside that top eight is that group seven, the halogens, was not assessed at all in 2023. So it's possible that this would be another outside of this top eight topic that would be worth prioritizing from inorganic chemistry that could be prioritized for the 2024 paper because it wasn't on the 2023 paper at all. If we dig a bit deeper into each topic to see which parts of that topic are assessed the most often and worth the most marks, we can see more of a pattern developing. For instance, there are two subtopics that have on average been worth seven marks per paper across the seven papers. And those topics are KP calculations for the equilibrium topic and mass spectrometer, both the theory and the calculation side of it, from the atomic structure topic. And then not far behind that, we've got buffer calculations and associated descriptions from the acids and bases topic that has been worth on average six marks per paper one paper. And then we've got a few more subtopics after that, not worth so many as the top three, but it definitely gives you something to prioritize as you get closer to the exams, which bit of thermodynamics should I be revising? Which bit of transition metals comes up the most frequently? To conclude, I need to state that obviously I do recommend that you revise all of the topics to give you a fully rounded preparation for your paper one. But I do recognise that as you get closer to the exams, you do need to prioritise on specific topics and even subtopics as we've been through here. To support you with that, I've put some links to relevant content in the description. This might be a topic explanation video or an exam question walkthrough. And it's also worth bearing in mind that some topics from paper one will appear on paper three. So if you revise a paper one topic and it doesn't come up at all on paper one, it's a pretty safe bet that it will come up to some extent on paper three. So that revision will definitely have been worthwhile. Okay, I hope this has been useful for you. If it has, let me know by leaving a comment. And if you'd like paper two and paper three focus videos, then do please let me know that as well.